Edmer is still a captive at the Twins when Esser Brynden raises what remains of the Tully army and retakes Riverrun. When Walder learns of this, he summons Edmer into the main hall. The disheveled Edmer is brought up from the dungeons in chains, and Lord Walder orders Lothar Frey and Walder Rivers to use him in taking back Riverrun. While the Freys are besieging Riverrun, outside the castle, Edmer stands beside Lothar Frey and Walder Rivers with a noose around his neck. They threaten to hang him if the Blackfish doesn't surrender Riverrun, but the Blackfish says nothing. When they hold a knife to Edmer's throat and threaten to cut his throat, the Blackfish calls their bluff and dares them to, knowing that if Edmer dies, the only chance the Freys have of taking the castle is by attacking it. Shortly thereafter, Jamie arrives with a Lannister host to take command of the siege from the Freys. He chastises the Freys for making threats they are not prepared to carry out and orders Black Walder to bathe and feed Edmer. Later, Jamie meets Edmer in the tent where he is being imprisoned and implores him to appeal to his uncle to surrender Riverrun. The Blackfish is an old man and is willing to die for honor's sake, Jamie reasons, but Edmer has much of his life still ahead of him and would rather live by surrendering. Jamie mentions that despite Edmer only spending his wedding night with his new wife, in the hours before the massacre at the twins begin, this was enough to impregnate her, and she has given birth to Edmer's infant son. Edmer points out that he has never seen his son, nor has he seen Rosalind since the Red Wedding, and he has been in a cell in the Frey's dungeon for years since the massacre. Jamie offers to reunite him with his wife and son and have him live out his days in gentle imprisonment as a hostage at Castley Rock. His son will be tutored, trained in combat, and given his own keep when he comes of age. Edmer refuses, and incredulously asks Jamie if he actually thinks himself to be a decent person. Edmer then seriously asks how Jamie can possibly stand to live with himself, day after day, after all of the crimes committed by him and his faction in this war, specifically massacring his family. Though Jamie briefly appears shaken by the truth of his captive's words, he threatens that if Edmer declines his offer, he will bring his infant son to the siege and hurl him at the castle walls with a catapult. Edmer reluctantly agrees to his terms. Edmer approaches Riverrun's gates and requests entry as the Lord of Riverrun and head of House Tully. The Blackfish orders his men not to let him in, as he knows that Edmer is coming to demand the surrender of the Tully garrison. Sworn to the head of House Tully and not the Blackfish, the Blackfish's men see no option but to comply with their lord's demand and allow Edmer entry. Upon entering, Edmer commands that his men surrender that the gates be lowered to allow in the combined Lannister and Frey force retaking the castle, and that his uncle be captured. The Lannister Frey army enters Riverrun, but as Jaime had hoped, it is a peaceful surrender and no lives are lost. A Lannister guard later reports to Jaime, however, that the Blackfish died fighting when the guards came to restrain him. Walder Frey later mentions that Edmer is back in a cell, although he has no plans to kill him as, killing son by law would not be right. After the celebration, however, Walder is murdered by Edmer's niece Arya, 